global warming and energy dependence make it necessary for us to adapt our mode of energy production and consumption without delay. Renewable energy sources available locally can make a greater contribution with little or no CO2 emissions. In 2005, these energies made up 8.5% of the final energy consumption of the European Union. By 2020, the objective is to reach a share of 20%. The water mills and windmills of our grandparents produced mechanical energy from renewable sources. Their modern versions produce electricity. Thus, windmills transform wind into electricity. The European production of wind electricity, which has made great progress, is now equivalent, for example, to the combined electricity needs of Denmark and Hungary. Hydraulic energy produces electricity. Small hydraulic plants or big dams, the production process is the same. The energy potential of a head of water is converted into electric energy. Geothermal energy uses heat from the depths of the earth to produce heat or electricity. At just a few meters below the surface, already heat pumps can extract heat from gardens to heat houses. This is a relatively new but promising application. Solar energy can produce heat or electricity. Solar heat panels installed on a roof can cover most of the hot water needs for sanitary purposes and can serve as a backup for domestic heating. It's estimated that over 20 million square meters of solar heat panels were installed throughout Europe in 2006, and not only in the southern countries, far from it. Solar energy is also converted into electricity in solar mirror plants, or directly using panels of photovoltaic cells grouped together in plants, or placed on facades of buildings or roofs, or in isolated sites. Biomass is produced from vegetable, animal or urban waste. It's called the sleeping giant because it's probably the most important renewable energy of the future. It has multiple applications. The most widespread is combustion of wood or wood pellets for domestic heating. In industry or in towns, the aim is to co-generate heat and electricity, which offers a much better overall yield. Biogas is produced by fermentation of waste such as liquid manure used in farming or other organic waste. It produces heat and electricity. Purified biogas can be used as gaseous biofuel. Biomass also makes it possible to produce liquid biofuels, biodiesel and bioethanol. The European Union has proposed that 10% of diesel and petrol needs be covered by biofuels by 2020, with strict respect of the conditions for sustainable development in this domain. The European Union is the world leader in the development of renewable energy with over 350,000 jobs and an annual turnover of 30 billion euros. It intends to stay in the lead and is committed to reaching the objective of 20% of renewable energy by 2020. Governments have a crucial role to play through their good example and their support, but each individual can also help to achieve this ambitious but necessary objective.